Okay, today I'm going to uh, get this uh, drill out of the box for you and let you take a look at it. Um, it's Genesis. Uh, I've seen other ones on the uh, uh, internet with the uh, different names, but basically absolutely the exact same machine. So uh, this probably matches some of other ones be the same, but uh, so here's some of the options it's a five speed uh, 2.6 amp uh, it's got a half inch chuck for bigger uh, drills and I am going to be uh, I do have big, bigger drill bits and I will be drilling uh, bigger holes so uh, that's probably one item that I actually um, care about the oversized handles is probably something I could care less about so let's open it up I'm not gonna build this thing step by step for you I am gonna put it together um, I can't put it together with uh, one hand so I, I will um, but if I run into anything uh, that causes trouble or needs mentioning I will certainly um, film that part or something uh, of course it's got a uh, set of directions and a manual these are all greasy I guess to keep it from rusting uh, this whole thing's pretty greasy here I believe is the shelf no this is the shelf that's the base this is the shelf uh, some hardware mm, let's see what's in here uh, this is probably going to be the chuck. Chuck key and chuck. Yep. Uh, so we have that. Packed pretty good, I guess. Um, here's one of the handles. Here's the base. Again, it's wrapped in uh, some type of oily uh, newspaper <coughs> to keep it from rusting I'm sure we got styrofoam flying everywhere here's the head assembly oh that's pretty heavy um, and I think that's it let me get it out of there just to be sure the other two handles and that's it so let me uh, go ahead and start putting this together again like I said if uh, I run into any snags or something that needs mentioning I'll uh, record it or let you know what I did about it but uh, I'll be right back once I got it up and running okay so the first snag I ran into was how to stack those washers uh, so I looked on the box and I looked real carefully and it looked like the pressure um, washer went in between the nut head and the uh, flat washer so uh, and they tightened down pretty good and it's pretty stable and these just screw right into the base there's no um, bolt on the other side uh, this thing slid on pretty easy and tightened on um, with no problem now here is where I came into some trouble if you look in here there's three holes where you screw the uh, handles in well if you just put the first one in and keep screwing it goes all the way through and then these gonna end up won't go in as far and this will be really short so what you have to do is kind of screw them all in at the same time uh, these two handles are also screwed on as well so you gotta screw those on tight first and then uh, screw them into the holes all about the equal amount so they all come together in the center that way they'll all be the same uh, length other, th other than that that's about the only things that I can think of that would uh, cause you to have a problem with this so another thing I did was put the chuck on um, if you put it on just by hand it keeps popping off uh, but if you lay a piece of wood down raise your uh, uh, table up a little bit and then just push it down you don't really need a lot of pressure uh, before you do that though make sure 
that you've tightened um, the drill head to your base uh, completely so that doesn't slide. Also make sure that you've cranked down your, um, your table so that doesn't slide. And as long as nothing moves, the only thing that can move is the uh, pressure going into the chuck. So all it takes is a couple good pushes. You don't have to crank it down. You don't have to bend the table down. Uh, just a quick little push gets it on there. And as you can see, it won't come off. So uh, there you go for that. Uh, I'm going to plug this in and see how. Okay, so I uh, put a drill bit in. Turn it on. I think it's on uh, speed three here in the middle. There's, I should be holding that piece of wood. Let's see what happens if I don't. No, it's going to stay in place. And there you go. So there it is, the Genesis 5 speed uh, drill press. Uh, not so bad. Uh, by the way, I paid a uh, hundred dollars for this. Uh, I believe it was from Home Depot. Uh, there's you change the speeds manually through here. You adjust the tension uh, right here. You would just uh, pull in and pull out, you loosen this up, and it'll change the tension right there. Uh, so that's all you have to do to change the speeds. Um, well, there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helps you in your decision making. Again, I just bought this for uh, some nice knife making um uh, projects that I want to do as well as uh, some woodworking I always wanted to make my own cribbage board and you have to have a drill press for that so that's definitely on the agenda as one of my projects uh, okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments below and I will uh, do my best to answer thanks for watching